just making it up as I go. Welcome to another edition of Fit and Fire, your home for guns and gear and the fitness to run both. I'm Mark and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. So, you know, at SHOT Show, everybody knows where I'm at right now. Day two, I was able to stop by VanQuest and talk to the guys there. You guys know I love VanQuest. They make some of the best bags out on the market today. And the reason why they're able to do it is because they're focused to quality and they're focused to customer service as well. So if you haven't checked out VanQuest, I've got a link to their website down in the description below. Go check them out. I think you're going to really enjoy what they have to offer. So, why am I here? Well, they've got three new products that they're introducing for 2018, and they're pretty amazing. I really like the versatility that each one of these bags has and some of the features that they have in it as well. So, to start off with, we're gonna talk about the Skycap 46, and Alex is gonna tell us all about it right here. All right, so with Alex over at VanQuest, you guys know I've done a couple videos of their stuff already. I really do like their their stuff, all of their different bags that I've tried so far have been very impressive. They've got a number of different things that they want to highlight for 2018, and I'm just going to let Alex do his thing. So, Alex, take it away. Thanks, Mark. And again, thank you for visiting us here at SHOT Show. Uh, my name is Alex Dunez. I'm the Operations Manager for VanQuest. And today I'm going to start off with talking about our new Skycap 46 Travel Duffel Bag. The Skycap 46 is a travel duffel bag that's also designed as a backpack. Starting with the backside, we have shoulder straps that are completely stowable on the inside of the back panel of the Skycap 46 and it also features a uh, padded waist belt uh, that can also be tucked away while maintaining your uh, shoulder strap usability. Moving towards the front of the bag, we have compression straps on the front so that way you can compress the bag when you have uh, loaded with your gear on the inside or if you're traveling clothes and whatnot. So you can access the um, straps here and these can also be tucked away on the inside when not in use. Now one of the impressive features of the Skycap 46 is the admin panel which you can pull open. Now you have a administration panel where you can store your 15 inch laptop, uh, 10 inch uh, tablets, a lot of odds and ends, little small items you need to carry with you. Also we've included a dedicated RFID blocking pocket for your uh, modern passports and modern credit cards that have RFID chips. That way when you're traveling, uh, credit card skimmers cannot steal your information. So now moving into the main compartment, the main compartment folds all the way open and we have a very large 46 liter capacity so you can put in uh, all your travel gear. Uh, also has dedicated tough mesh pockets on the inside where you have additional storage areas as well as on the uh, front uh, flap here as well. There is also an uh, additional pocket on the top and also on the bottom so you can store other small items like your pair of shoes or other uh, items you want to keep separate from your clothing on the inside. The uh, Skycap 46 is going to be available around May of this year and our price point is going to be 199 So. One of the things I wanted to point out is this is 46, 46 liter. Yes, that's right. right. Capacity. Uh, I when I took my trip to Georgia with Iraq Veteran 88 Range Day, I used their Trident 31 backpack, and that was able to fit everything I needed for that entire weekend, to include an extra pair of boots, all my clothes, my hygiene stuff, everything I needed. So this is 46 liters, which is going to give you even more capacity. Yeah. Right? And at the same time, it is a carry-on size, yeah, there so you, you could easily put it on an overhead bin on an airplane, yep. uh, take it with you, and uh, and at the same time, being able to carry your gear, uh, electronics gear as well, and uh, just overall giving the best versatility in a travel duffel backpack. Right. Uh, so what's the uh, material that you use to make that? Absolutely. Uh, we actually use a combination of uh, thousand denier on the high wear areas, which will be uh, more on the bottom, right. and then on the top areas and on the flap, uh, we use 500 denier. Using the combination of 1000 denier Cordura, it gives you the best durability on the high wear areas, while the 500 denier Cordura makes it a little bit lighter uh, on the areas that don't uh, need that kind of extra durability. Yeah. 
So, and that's a great point. You get into some of these larger bags, you're going to get kind of weighted down if everything is going to be a thousand cordura. So, uh, with that being said, they put it into the high wear areas, and so you have the strength there, but then you have uh, the lighter 500 cordura areas and some of the less wear areas. So, something to keep in mind there. So, yes. thanks, hey, Alex. Absolutely. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, the other uh, aspects we also have is uh, we do use locking YKK zippers, so that way oh. it's a completely secure bag yep. uh, when it's not in front of you. Um, and then all of our buckles and hardware are Duraflex and ITW, so they're extremely durable, made of a fantastic material called Delrin, yep. which is much more uh, uh, durable than traditional nylon polymer. Outstanding. Outstanding. Well, that. that Pretty much here you, it, it covers the sky cap. Yeah. Alex, thank you so much. Absolutely. I really appreciate Pleasure it. Again, Mike. And and we'll uh, we'll get over to some of these other ones here in just a second. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. I really appreciate you running us through all the different features the sky cap has. And moving on, we're gonna to talk to James now. He's gonna to talk to us about the Ibex 35 and 26 bag that is also pretty cool, laden with different features, pockets, and everything else. Let's check it out. Hey, I got James right here, and he's got another product that we're going to talk about. It's the Ibex uh, series of backpacks right here. Uh, I'm just going to throw him the camera and let him run his thing and tell us all about it. So, James, okay. thank you so much, Mark. Thanks, thanks. appreciate thank it. Thank you for talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this year, we're going to uh, introduce a new Ibex line. Mm -hmm. uh, three years ago, we introduced the, uh, the Ibex 30 and Ibex 20. This year, we're upgrading them to Ibex 35 and Ibex 26. And uh, the overall shape and form are similar to the previous generation. However, we did lots of upgrades, especially on the suspension system, uh, make them ideal for heavy loads. And uh, we are also making lots of changes to um, update the functionality, especially inside organization and customization. So let's start with the um, uh, the backside. I mean, this is probably the most noticeable uh, upgrades. Now we're using a adjustable. Uh, shoulder harness system, so it's adjustable up and down uh, at four positions, and the waist strap is a lot stiffer, so they are designed for carrying heavy loads. Mm. And once you put it on, the waist strap is now pull, uh, the pull forward system, so you can, you know, simply pull it uh, towards the front and easy tighten it. And the inside. This bag come in just under five pounds, extremely lightweight. Um, the suspension system, we're, we're using a polycarbonate frame with virtual stays. So this frame is very flexible along the long, uh, long direction. However, it gives it very, very good rigidity along the sides. So your bag does not toggle when you uh, cinch the compression strap on the sides. So this is uh, a very, very uh, lightweight piece of uh, um, component that goes into the suspension system and internally no oh, let's talk about the pockets on top there are two 3d pockets and the shock core feel allow you to carry one extra layers of uh, gear let's say a pair of shoes or uh, additional jacket uh, ring cover etc on the bottom here is a hyperlon um, we call it duck foot it's kind of like additional cradle for you to, to uh, store your gear. And the tool loop on the bottom and the elasto lock will allow you to secure, um, let's say, a, a tracking pole or an axis. Um, on, and they're on both sides. Outstanding. Yep. And on the inside, you put it open. And here is the Moly Air, laser cut Moly Air. They are not only compatible with um, the traditional Moly system, um, they are also compatible with hook and loop accessories. So you can attach some of these uh, pouches. We have a product that's called a Mol Panel. Basically, you can convert traditional uh, Moly into hook and loop. Mm -hmm. So this is how it looked like. That's, that's pretty cool. Yep. So there are lots of attachments on the inside. Um, either on the surface or on the sides and also the front. And on the bottom here is a, uh, we call it tough mesh. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very abrasion resistant mesh material. We use it um, as a pocket. 
and uh, this one is actually the 26. The 26 and 35. Um, they are similar in many ways, um, but the 35 is more designed for for heavyweight uh, carry. So this is this is actually a great backpack for a lot of people who are going to go out hunting or like to hike, like to camp out in uh, some of the national parks and stuff like that. This is designed specifically for that to not only allow you uh, the most room to carry whatever you need to go out there, but also to distribute that weight on your back as you're going. And as I said before, uh, as always, uh, ounces leads to pounds and pounds lead to pain. So if you can find a way to distribute that weight, uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a godsend for you on down the road. So yeah, all right, that's that's outstanding, John. I really appreciate everything that uh, you guys are doing here. Uh, obviously, I love their stuff, and we've got one other thing that we're going to talk about. So, James, thanks again. I really appreciate your time. Thanks, James. I really appreciate you going through all the different features the Ibex 26 and 35 has to offer. Now, moving on, we're going to talk about the Mark IV 45. Mike is going to run us through all the different features and capabilities that this bag has. It is a beast, so let's check it out. All right, so here's the third item I wanted to show you guys for VanQuest. This is Mike, Michael, whatever, I don't know, however you want to go by, you yeah. tell me. But uh, oh <laughs> this guy's a riot. It is hilarious. Off but camera. <laughs> off camera. <laughs> He's going to talk about this last backpack that uh, VanQuest has. Uh, and it, again, it's got a lot of utilitarian uses for it. And Mike, take it away, man. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, thanks, thanks, for, thanks for having me. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so I'm on the design team here at VanQuest, and this year we took, you know, average product development time can be up to two years for something this complex. This is the McCore 45, 45 liters, internal frame backpack, of course removable. It's a polycarbonate frame, rigid enough to carry the target weight of 38 pounds, which is, uh, you know, like ideal yeah. for a 45 liter pack. It's actually a little bit north than some people go for. Uh, to support your frame, we have a redesigned, at least for us, suspension system. So you have adjustable five position shoulder harness for the padded and a very well padded, rigid waist belt with a full forward waist belt adjustment. Um, so you can easily make that weight disappear. You got the perfect 80%, 20% balance. And something that we're doing on a lot of the newer bags, it might not be obvious, but this is 1000D Cordura, this panel's 1000D Cordura, and this is the rest of the bag's 500. So we've got the perfect balance of toughness and weight. Yep. So we've got that weight reduction there. You can see on the front, it's kind of a busier bag than in the past, any other similar bags like this. So this panel right here is our beaver tail. And on the front, we have a shock board, something similar to our Ibex 30 bags, with the addition of a drawbridge that we call a duck foot. So if you slide something through here, it won't, it won't fall out. Oh, that's a great idea. This is a removable and reversible panel. So if you want to get into the main part of the bag, the zipper's kind of stopped there right perfectly at the first zipper pocket. Okay. Also, you can see another pocket here. This is a plastic. So, if it's raining, you want to get your pack cover, you can unzip this guy. And if you leave this one unzipped on the top of your bag, you can just grab that pack cover. Or, if you're doing an SBR or even just a short red rifle or otherwise in here, you have 26 inches. This will give you another 2 inches into this, this pocket for a muzzle device. This guy pops off. Got two SLDs here. Let's back up. And it's suspended by the, this G hook in the center, so if you rip it down, the panel comes with it, you don't have to sacrifice anything. On the inside, we see a couple of those zipper pockets, something people always ask for. This is a very durable mesh, you won't get a hole in the use. It comes with these retention straps, you have that contrasting buckle there for the male side, easy to see. Both Molly and Velcro uh, attachment system with the front Molly air panel. 3 liter hydration, medium sized vacuum plates, laptop. 15 inch no problem. The frame sheet itself is in a Cordura top and bottom uh, pocket, so lots of support there. Compression on the inside, Velcro. But the star of the show really is on the front of the bag, and that is the beaver tail that we started to cover. If we release this guy here, you can see the other side. This is your Cordura laser cut bar. So through here we have this panel, as well as a map pocket. It's pretty decent size. It's definitely large enough for a sappy plate, the small sappy plate. Oh, yeah, yeah. And tinkering with it, uh, just realized that we can make a durable accessory man arms management. So it's a combination of this pocket with taking those internal two one inch 
And what you get is this. So again, we call it the durable arm cannon. It's just beaver dam. So you've got your stock pocket down at the bottom. You can flip this around. This, this whole beaver tail is versatile. Flip it around, protect it with the gun. You have a seven position sear, one inch, and it carries low enough that it's not going to get caught on the head. And even me, I'm 6'1", longer legs, I can bend out real far back. And this panel is not going to get my leg. The other way you can do it, too, is actually put the panel up and cover if you had an optic or most of the action of the firearm. So you can rock it in a sport side out or tactical side out or take it off. So it's really up to you. But yeah, this is uh, going to be available in May 2018. 270 retail, available in black, wolf gray, and tan. That's outstanding. And this is actually a really cool idea on the fact of being able to hike into different areas, especially if you're using some type of long gun for a long range deer hunt, elk hunt, something like that in Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, and even in parts of Kansas as well, my home state. So that's actually really, really cool to see something like that. And as low as it sits, you don't have to worry about your your muzzle getting caught on trees or anything like that. So that's that is super cool. That is super cool. And as you can see with VanQuest, we're gonna have tons of pockets, tons of features in, in all these different things. And so. the best materials we can find, we can never sacrifice the quality of the bag. Yeah. It's never an option. And that's that's another great point. As we've said in some of these other bags, you're going to run 1,000 Cordura on the high friction points and then 500 Cordura in these other areas that you can sacrifice the strength to make up for weight. So that's, that's something pretty cool as well. So outstanding. Cool bags, Mike. I think it's... Yeah, you guys so that's just blow me away every single time I see something. So. Awesome. Yeah, 45 liter report. Yep, 45. There May of 2018. May of 2018. So just in time for a hunting season, Zach. All right. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I really absolutely. appreciate it. Take care. Thanks, everybody. All right, so there you go, VanQuest gear, man. I tell you, this stuff is built to take a pounding. If uh, you guys are interested in checking this stuff out, by all means, go to their website. Link is down in the description below and check it out for yourself. One of the things that I wanted to point out after taking about two hours of my day to talk with these guys is their dedication to not only quality, but also to their customer service as well. They want to make sure that they provide the best quality products on the market today, and they want to make sure that you as the consumer are taken care of. So they're not paying me to say this. I am saying this because I actually believe in this company and I really like the products that they're putting out. So again, check them out. Link in the description down below. Uh, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, Alex, James, Mike, the whole crew over at VanQuest are pretty awesome people and I really, really like their business model and what they're trying to accomplish. So, with that being said, that's all I got this time. Thanks for swinging by. I got more from SHOT Show coming up. Take it easy, y'all. Here comes a high five. If you made it this far in the video, then I'd really appreciate you guys would consider subscribing. You can do that right here. Or if you want to check out some other videos that I've got going, check them out right here. If you like the hoodies and shirts that I'm wearing, that's Revolutionary Patriot. I got a link to their website down in the description below with a discount code. And as always, keep on dropping those bells and shells. Thanks, y'all.